Hi, this is Ed Stretcher Geek Out, and you are watching 16 Bitch You. Hi guys, and welcome to another excellent episode of 16 Bitch You. Today I'm gonna show you the most expensive deal of my life. Probably the last of such expensive deal I'm, deals I'm ever gonna make. Um, this deal ups my Nintendo collection from... Eh, I got a couple of good games too. I got all the awesome stuff. So, let me sketch the situation for you. Uh, there's a website called secondhand.be which is essentially like Craigslist in America and somebody was offering a lot of super rare Nintendo games for 1000 euros he said bidding starts at 600 and somebody had already bid at 600 and the photos of the games were also pretty crappy but because the manuals were included I was thinking for some games not for all the games I was thinking this is gonna be a genuine lot um, so I texted the guy saying I'll come and pick it up tonight for 600 and he was like man that's way too much uh, not enough I mean <laughs> and I, the least I can do is 750 so I said okay dude um, these are awesome games I know they're worth a lot I'm just saying I come and pick this up tomorrow night for 650 and sorry that's the max I can do uh, I can't go be beyond that uh, amount of this entire lot there were actually 10 games I already had and 10 games I didn't have so the guy said okay you come if you come tonight you can have it all for 650 and I was like sweet uh, so I took my car drove out it was an hour's drive and the dude was actually a super friendly guy he was a collector himself mostly for collected horror movies uh, VHS tapes DVDs also comic books like Belgian science fiction comic books and he also had a lot of video games but he had a second daughter on the way and he just needed to make space uh, for the girl uh, we talked like two hours I was only home at 1 a.m. in the morning and I tried to invite him to different groups to join, but he d he hasn't reacted to that anymore. So I think he really wanted to downsize, and just like me, he's easily convinced to buy instead of uh, selling. Um, so I haven't heard of him, but he was a really cool dude. Um, he bought the games already a long time ago, so he did buy them. I guess at at he he told me he went to game fairs, but already some years ago, so he probably bought them at a lot cheaper prices, but still paid a decent amount from the for them. So so let me uh, start off by showing you guys the doubles. Um, this is uh, probably the most common game in the lot. Uh, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, also the label is a little bit damaged, not too much, but... Then, this is an awesome game, Ninja Gaiden, already have it of course. Gunsmoke, I got this one for free from my brother-in-law brother some years ago. This one is also pretty awesome, but I already have it. Uh, Shadow Warriors 2, already sold this one. Castlevania 1 and 2, also already sold this one. And then Hammer and Harry, also already sold this, sold this one. So, uh, small disclaimer for you American guys. Some of the games, the PAL versions, are also worth some money, but are not worth as much as the USA version. For example, Little Samson is a very expensive game in the United States, but over here it's only a 150 euro game. So, I mean, I, I calculated the eBay uh, costs of these games, and it came around 1200 euros. So I got them half price almost, so that's pretty cool.
So, we're gonna start with right off the bat with some awesome games. Also, all the labels were in pretty decent shape. First up, um, Lil Samson. Haven't played this one yet, but looks like an awesome game. Second up, not that rare, but also an uncommon game, Felix, Felix the Cat. Also, I have this one on the Game Boy. It's a really easy game, but still fun. One I'm looking very much forward to play, Zen the Intergalactic Ninja. Also recently found this one on the uh, Game Boy, but never seen the NES version in real life. Apparently it's really hard. <laughs> this one is also a very expensive one, Panic Restaurant. Awesome game. Played this one a bit already, it's pretty fun. Also the game is in pretty decent condition. Um, the Beauty and the Beast, German label, apparently a more expensive PAL game, I did not know that. Also by Hudson Soft, I recently bought the SNES version for super cheap, but yeah, I didn't really like the game. Donkey Kong uh, 3, the original. Um, this game originally was Metroid in the lot, but I already had Metroid, so I asked. He had a second lot with only two games that I wanted, so I asked, asked the guy, can I treat Metroid for Donkey Kong 3? And he said, yeah, sure, why not? So this is also not super expensive, but one of the more expensive games. This is also one of those I didn't know that was uncommon or rare in Europe, but apparently it is super common on the Mega Drive or probably any other platform. These games, I put them myself in, in these cases. It's because I, when games only have their manual, I tend to put them in these plastic X-Rental cases. They also came in sleeves, but the sleeves don't fit in here, so... This is an awesome game, been playing it a lot the last couple of days. Um, in the USA version it's called SCAT and in Europe it's called Action New York. This is also one of the, I think this is probably the rarest game in the lot. Um, uh, Rodland, uh, I think this version is also exclusive to Europe. You have another version of it. Um, yeah, it's a uh, piece on the title platformer, I be believe. Um, it's a one screen platformer in the vein of Bubble Bubble. Also comes with uh, the manual. El Manual. This is the third time I find this game. Uh, but this is the PAL version with a manual, so. I'm thinking about keeping this version. Rockin' Cats. It's strange sometimes you, you find a rare game and then it just keeps popping up everywhere. This one is also pretty cool. Played it uh, a little bit. Sorry guys, man. Euphoria the Saga. Uh, I think this wasn't released in the USA. It's a Japanese platformer by Sunsoft. It's a pretty cool game. It's a bit weird, but a fun platformer. This one was also one that was in the other lot. Um, and I traded him uh, Battletoads for this one. He didn't let me keep the Battletoads manual, but I got uh, the Mega, Mega Man manual instead. All these manuals are German, by the way, so I'm assuming he went to a fair in Germany once, picked up a lot of games there. Uh, this is the last one. Bucky O'Hare. Played this lot, one also a lot, uh, the last couple of days. Pretty fun game. Uh, I've been missing out on this one for a long time. I, I see it at fairs and I think mm, 50, 60 sometimes 
I one saw it for 30, I tried to haggle but it didn't want any of it and five minutes later it was already gone so now I have it with the manual so if you divide uh, 650 by um, 20 you get 32 and a half euro per game which is for some some of these games it's like Bucky O'Hare it's a cool price but not awesome but for games like Panic Restaurant, uh, Hammering Harry, Euphoria, these are awesome prices. So, um, I kind of promised my, my, my wife I wouldn't buy anything else uh, before I uh, earn this money back by selling off some other stuff which I'm already doing at the moment. I, I already sold, sold quite a lot of uh, doubles in games like for example if, if I have the GameCube version and I have the PS2 version I will sell off the PS2 version if I have the 360 version or the PS3 version I will sell off the version that's in the worst condition stuff like that so um, but yeah this will probably be one of the last episodes you see me do pickups in I still have quite a lot of stuff I need to show so there will be at least two more pickups episodes simply because I have enough stuff man I have so much stuff and I never get around to like cleaning everything putting everything in a game room exactly how I want it so by picking up this insane lot I'm good for a couple of months now I feel at ease like I really got some games I really wanted for a very long time and if you go to a flea market you often just buy some Xbox games or some I don't know like pff, games you really don't really want but you just buy them to satisfy your your feeling of being content so I'm gonna try to downsize on those sort of purchases and just focus on the classic stuff that I really want like Genesis, Mega Drive uh, NES, SNES, Jaguar, Atari Lynx, stuff like that. Um, so I will be making less purchases, hopefully, <laughs> but more quality purchases. Um, I'm also I'm gonna try to make different sort of videos, like repair videos, um, how I put things, um, how I solve problems of storage or or things like that. I don't know. Uh, gonna finish up the game room. Uh, because it's already getting super full in here, um, and I still like don't have any don't have stuff upstairs that needs to be in this room that I don't want want to get rid of, and I have stuff in this room that I really want to get rid of, so I need to sell. I mean, I still just have a lot of work to do, and I think that also would also be pretty pretty cool videos to watch. So yeah. Um, See you guys in the next video, which will still be a pickups video, by the way. I still have like my 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 uh, tabletop to repair and uh, to work on, so that's also a project of mine. Okay, well, see you guys later.